My name is Padelis Nicolaou. High Street Yale Company is a world-class forklift truck manufacturer that designs, builds, and distributes forklift trucks worldwide. I was born in 1964 in Athens, Greece. I came in the Netherlands to join with my love, Maike. First, I learned the Dutch language and refreshed my mathematics. And in 1991, I joined the automotive engineering at the Higher Technical School in Appledore those days. In 1994, I graduated and I started my career at Heister Yale in Nijmegen. In 2017, I joined the Master Education program as a part-time student. For the graduation, the assignment was given by Heister Yale Company. Heister Yale is developing a dynamic stability controller. For assessing stability, one needs to know the total lift track's center of gravity very accurate. For what concerns the structural components, its uh, COG is very well known to the manufacturer. For what concerns the center of gravity of the payload, this is because it varies in shapes, this is an unknown parameter. Currently, the uh, controller assumes uh, the payload center of gravity conservatively, uh, which leads to a, a slower uh, driving track and then actually the stability laws will allow, therefore, a less productive track. The assignment's objective was to find a way to determine the payload's COG position 50% more accurately and in real time. To tackle actually this uh, challenge, I first did a literature research. During the research, it became clear that there was something missing. There was there a gap. The researchers were assessing stability by assuming the payload center of gravity as being a known parameter. Therefore, this work contributes in filling this gap. The whole approach was based in uh, first principles. First, a free body diagram was drawn from where the equations of motions were derived by applying Newton's second law. With that data, a mathematical model was created in Amasim from where the center of gravity of the payload was able to be derived. The model required as input translational and rotational accelerations, as well as the tilt cylinder forces. For this reason, a test track was equipped with sensors to gather this data. The uh, gathered data were fed back into the AMESI model, from where the horizontal center of gravity was able to be determined by 2 to 7% in accuracy and the vertical center of gravity of the payload with 14 to 20% in accuracy. For the mathematical model, an application for a patent will be filed and it will be used in the dynamic stability controller for the company. As a take-home message, the personal education is a lifelong learning journey that never stops. Mm -hmm.